In this video, I'm going to take you from the spot where you have created your graphic. You've saved it as an SVG. And now you're going to open your SVG. I recommend Notepad++. If you were to use Notepad, do remember when you open it up, Notepad defaults to looking for a .txt. So as you click on to open a file, check for that, that you just look for all files and then you'll find your SVG. Otherwise, it will only show you .txt files. So Notepad++ is my favorite. You can see why it beautifully um, colors the different things. So if you look through the file, notice I put my own name there instead of this used to say Corel, created by Corel Draw, and I said, oh, I did it. <laughs> so I put my own name in there. Um, also of interest, you'll see right here, the first line there, and let me scroll a little, it says 600 by um, 550 pixels. If yours is large and during the saving process you forgot to fix that, you can fix it here too and um, just keep the ratio the same and size it down and it'll open initially um, at this pixel height. So then you get your um, CSS data here and after that we start with the document. So there we go. And it'll take a while for you to stare at your document and so forth. So I'm going to open up at one specific portion, and that is this portion right here. Now, what I want to show you first is let's go do your. Um, this is where, where I created my uh, graphic file. This is not for this assignment. This is another project I did. And just to show you the path I followed. So created this, then saved, and this is the picture. Then I saved the SVG and I put these SVGs all in this area. So um, I think, yeah, this is the one then that um, I want to show you today. And so all I do is I open up a quote unquote blank new tab in your browser. You grab this and you drag it onto your browser and la la, it will show. And that's what I'm going to show you right now is to see what you'll see. So there you'll see um, my file is from my C drive just showing up here. Now, if you click, if you're in a, using a PC and you click on the control key and you scroll your mouse, you can make this graphic a very small. And if you want to make it a bit larger, no problemo. We can do that for you. That's the nice thing about SVG, because it is a vector, it can just enlarge and stays crisp instead of, um, you know, becoming pixelated. And that's the fun part of, of, gra of these graphics. Okay, so yeah, you got it. We've got this beautiful graphic now. The question is, you want to add your links. And so in this graphic, what I wanted to do is the word, this word, if you actually look uh, well, I'm going to have to resize my um, browser window to make that happy for you. So there we go. Now I've got my browser window that I can show you. Look at the bottom here, right there. Um, it'll show you where it's trying to link through to. So as I move, you see this moves along with me. And as I move there, oh, that one's not panning out. Okay, there we go. And then also that text goes there. So that's the nice thing about this. So um, so the um, text moves nicely with you. And um, let me see. I'm still in this environment. OK, so you want to grab this surface and you want to grab the text because I've tried this before. If you just grab the surface, and say, okay, I've got that identified and you put a link to that, but not on the text, it will show you your hand. But the moment you move on to the text up, oh, it'll just, you know, uh, re you'll lose the link. And so you need to do it for both. And then separately, I did this. So now I'm going to go into the actual file and show you kind of what the stuff looks like. So. What you'll see here is um, I identified the area. So there's the area piece. Then um, I've got 
the outside of the link that it says link b5 and then the text inside now i've wrapped this all in the a so i could move this a anywhere i want for example just link b5 but then all of this would be omitted so that's how you do it so if i scroll down or up and you see more of these um, you'll see there's my link there's the surface uh, reflexive b6 and then da -da -da -da, that text and so forth so if i now go back to the picture and remember that uh, reflexive b6 thing this is this area so when i'm on there it go it would go there there's you see and then the text and everything else in it would also link but if this text was outside of it no problem you know, i've got that text covered with my a link so that's really as simple as that and the nice thing with this is i've tried it out on a ipad and so when on a tablet when you come to this page you can just tap on the screen on that specific spot where the hot link is and it goes where it's supposed to so it's not just mouse centric it's really um, but it works perfectly with a tap so this could really influence um, the way you design websites with your um, you could have a graphic like this at the top and uh, the graphic could be hot and it's just all beautifully generated uh, graphically instead of just a normal little text box so svg is very useful it's part of html5 it's a standard that's there to stay and so as you look at the text here it's uh, just very straightforward to understand this it, the svg becomes an xml uh, subset and um, it's easy to work with and then what you could do to understand your graphic is i'd say always say use your comment buttons for example these guys and then move this guy let's do that quickly so cut it there and let's pop it there okay so now this area is dead so let's save it then you go back to your graphic and you say okay let's re refresh it Ooh, oh what just happened now you know ah oh, so that's the area i just commented out so then you can see ah so this te text area here is this so if you look at something and you think where is this what is this that's the way to tell so this will help you and you know you got to sit down and just play with it as have your text area open have it render do things here save <laughs> otherwise it's not going to go come here hit refresh and see what you just did and play back and forth and then go back here and say okay let's undo that there we go let's cut that control x let's move it um, back there Control V. Now, as we said, save. Perfect. Then come back here, refresh. Ah, and we're back to business. And there you can see that link is there. So um, go play with it and get to know it by just inspecting it and, and, and you know, massaging it. And I've, uh, maybe a tip I need to give you as well, because I got all these pieces, I found that in the end that um, you know these pieces are all in order and um, the order might be kind of scattered but there is an order to vector stuff uh, the, the one piece is first then second then third so I went through and made sure there's a sequence to my ordering of all these pieces and I moved things back you know because you can move things to the front I grabbed this whole area moved it to the front then the next one then the next one and so forth and by doing that before I saved it as an SVG it put these things in order but if these pieces all just, in other words, if I type that text and this text and that text and this text and that text, this text is scattered and it will be reflected as scattered in your graphic. But now if you've got everything in place and you grab all this purple stuff and bring it to the very top, then grab all this red and bring it to the very top. In other words, this will be second to the top. This will be the top now. And so you keep going. Um, you do keep things nicely together. And that makes this experience look far better. Hope you enjoy this. It's, it's fun to play with SVG. 
and um, as I said I like Corel Draw it works very well for me but you can use many other tools as I've indicated have fun